Is that exactly. right? Exactly. Cool, okay. So we're starting to compose open infrastructure. We've got bare metal. We've got an, a, a way to control the network through Neutron. I think we're gonna need some storage. I know a couple folks that can help us with that. So why don't we get out John and Kendall, bring them out here, and have them show us how we can add a little bit of block storage to our infrastructure. <laughs> Woo! Hey. Mark. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> So today we're going to get uh, Cinder going without using Nova, which is really weird. And we can actually do it with uh, just one command. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Docker, because if you want to make something composable and easy to deploy, Docker is a great fit. So we're just going to go ahead and use Docker Compose and give us a standalone Cinder service that works just with Cinder. Um, no Keystone, no Nova, and anything else. So John, can you talk a little bit about how Docker actually builds the images for Cinder? Yeah, so uh, the trick with this is, or the only trick, is to actually build the images. But OpenStack has a great project called Loki now um, that lets you build individual images for different services and projects. So I grab the Loki image for Cinder, and off I go. Um, and that's pretty much it. Then I just add a database and a RabbitMQ container, and we've got a running service. So. Hopefully, we should now be able to uh, make a volume. So we'll just go and show. Oh, we got to like, of course, live demos, man. Well, you just <laughs> got to give it a second. It's not <laughs> quite ready. We're moving yeah. a little too fast. <laughs> <laughs> so. So. So you, um, so you kicked off the provisioning with just one Docker command. Yeah, so keep in mind what's happening here, and the reason why there's a little bit of a lag, is we're actually running this from source every time. Okay. So every time we load this and run it, we're actually initializing the database, creating all the data, and doing everything that needs to be done there. So there's a little bit of overhead there. If you're actually doing this on your own and you don't need to do that, then you can come up instantaneously. Sure. So and This is all happening on this rack of gear over here, am I right? Correct. Very cool. So. All right. Yay. So assuming the volume <laughs> service is ready. Yeah. So we can now uh, make a volume. Okay. Name it something. Give it a size. Oh, we have a volume. Yay. All right. So now just to prove that we can do something with this, let's go and see if we can attach it. Whoop. Uh, Cinder helps if you can type. So this is actually going to do a iSCSI connection uh -huh. of that volume to the node that we're running it on. Okay. So. And so, oh, what? <laughs> do a Cinder list. Your volume's not ready. See. Ah, yes, bootable. It's not active. Or not ready to be attached yet. So. Like I said, we're working on making things less complex this week, and <laughs> it's only Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's try again, maybe. Oh, man. So this is OK. <laughs> it's really, it's OK. So we're going to do a service list, and we're going to see what's hung up. Let me look, and nothing. So. <laughs> What we're going to do is we're going to skip that volume. And we're going to do fingers crossed two. <laughs> yeah. All right. Ready? Yeah. Any bets? If you know me, you will bet that it's not going to work. <laughs> and it's not going to work. <laughs> OK. okay. <laughs> well, to, get, to recap, uh, <laughs> Loki is a, is a new project from OpenStack that just launched. And the, the idea in, in that community is to create these Docker images using the OCI format, which is a, a up and coming star of uh, standardization yep. in, in um, Docker world and container formats. And it, the reason it's Loki and not just OCI is that they're uh, lightweight OCI containers. Right. Yep. And so that, that is a little bit different than some of the other, other efforts. You know, there are a lot of different ways you can use containers with OpenStack. This one, in this case, you put very little in the container image itself. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier. Um, so one thing also that we can do here is, since it is you know, in Docker, we went ahead and restarted it, and it should be up and running now. The other thing is, Cinder, one of the great things is you've got over 80 backends, like you mentioned earlier. Right. Um, so we can actually just add another backend. So we're having problems with that one. No big deal. Let's just add another one. Sure. So 
We happen to have loaded solid fire on one of those nodes over there. Ah. So what I'm going to do. Your employer thanks you. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a compose. I've got a second compose file on here that adds another volume service. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to launch that. Let me give that a second. And we'll go in here. Nothing like doing it different on the fly, right? <laughs> so if we do a service list in here, should see. you can see now we have our services again. Oh, very cool. So. Ready? Oops, wrong one. <laughs> Go attach. No. In our list. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> anyway. All right, so why don't we take a moment to go back to Julia and see how we are doing with adding capacity on the uh, rest of our nodes. So our bare metal cloud is completely on. We have two, no two nodes that have been deployed in addition. Uh, we're waiting on two more nodes to finish deploying. And if we go back to our Kubernetes cluster, we might see something different. Hey. Oh, nice. We have another node. More green check marks. That's good, right? <laughs> it is. OK. <laughs> All right, well, I want to thank the, uh, the brave men and women of OpenStack here who've, who've decided to come on stage and, and try to do everything live. Uh, we, we were able to get our rack of servers fresh off the dock from Dell. They mailed it to us from Austin. It came in a couple days ago. They've been working hard to get it up here and plugged in. Now we've got Ironic and Neutron. We're able to bootstrap the whole mini data center. And we've almost got Sender on it, so that's not bad. <laughs> It worked this morning. <laughs> it worked in DevStack. No. Uh, <laughs> nice. All right. Thank nice. you all so Thank much. You. I really appreciate Thank it. You. Yeah. Oh, sorry.